Here we are at the Church of St. Thomas in Overmono. I'd always thought that Overmono was one of these Welsh settlements that developed outside English boroughs, but there's some evidence to suggest it might be older, isn't there? There is. There's, there's a bit of archaeological evidence of earlier settlement in this area, but historically we only really know this bit from about the 12th century. Okay, so let's go in and look at some of the evidence. Right, off we go. Now, if you come inside the church, you can see this wonderful Norman chancel arch with its chevron and dog tooth decoration, which I think must be part of the first phase of the building. I suppose it must be. Uh, the, the fabric was probably a little bit later than that. The church was built in the, in the 12th century, I think, wasn't it? And dedicated to Thomas Beckett, ah. who, of course, was murdered in 1170, but subsequently canonised. Yes, so that gives us a good date for the start of the church. But then, of course, it was burnt down in 1233, it was part of a baronial rebellion against Henry III. Uh, what do we know about Henry? Well, the other thing we know about Henry, apart from the fact that he didn't get on with his barons, is that he was a very devout monarch. Mm. So, when the church was burnt down, he gave timber from his forests the next year for it to be rebuilt. So, that chancel arch presumably survives from the first phase, and then there's a 13th century building. Right, and, and lots of ha has happened here since, hasn't it? Uh, we've got these lovely box pews and things, uh, but presumably all that comes later. Well, yes, there's the box pews I think are 18th century, there's this lovely 20th century Celtic Studios stained glass, and of course the font, which really is rather fun. Hmm. Should we go and look at the font? Better have a look, yeah. Now there's some lovely imagery on this, isn't there? I suppose most people would call that Celtic. Well, yes, with that sort of interlace on the shaft, and you've got those grotesque heads and the serpent. I, I think it's probably copied from one of those 12th century Herefordshire fonts, like the one at Kilpeck. Right. Mm. And look, they've still got the churchyard cross. It was rebuilt by one of the architect, but it's still got its medieval base. Now, now look, it's in the middle of the road on the speed map. Might it have been a waymarking cross? There's a little left of the original that it's hard to be sure, but you're right, it could be. Waymarking crosses were like churchyard crosses, but usually simpler, and they were placed at road junctions to show you the way. Yeah, I'm the way, the truth and the life. Exactly. <laughs> 